So today I'm talking about a Honda with the P1009 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a Honda P1009 code? Well, it's a variable valve timing control advanced malfunction. And what does this mean? Well, many Hondas have what's called a variable valve timing control system, which basically allows the engine to have better performance at a high RPM. And it can also give the vehicle better fuel mileage when it's at a lower RPM. And so this is a good system, but the onboard computer seen a problem with it. So it's got to be troubleshooted, know why. And what are some possible causes? Well, the first thing to go and check is going to be the engine oil. Go and check it, see if it's low or if it's really dirty or anything like that. Because oil flows through that variable valve timing solenoid. And so if the engine oil is really low or if it's really dirty or anything like that, then it can throw these off. So first thing to go and do is check your engine oil. And so the most common cause of this is that something's going on with that VVT solenoid. Very often they become clogged up from old oil and things like this. There can also be these little filters on these that quite commonly become clogged up. But if your engine oil is good and you don't have no issues there, then the next thing to go and check is going to be this variable valve timing solenoid. And depending on the year of the Honda, sometimes it's called a VTEC, where it's bolted onto the side of the engine. Here's the solenoid right here, and it's bolted onto the side. And newer Hondas just have the variable valve timing solenoid that just slides in and out. But the next thing to do is go check out that variable valve timing solenoid and be sure that it's working because that is going to be the most common problem with the Honda with the P1009 code. And so if you go through and you check all those things, but you're still getting this problem, then a bad timing chain or timing belt can also cause this issue. Sometimes when they get old, they can stretch out and they can throw off the timing a little bit, or they can even skip a notch and just throw everything off. And so if you've gone through and you either test it or replace it, that variable valve timing and it's good, then the next thing to go and do is be sure that timing belt or timing chain is not extremely old and stretched or that it hasn't slipped a notch. Another thing that can cause this code, although not too often, but it does happen sometimes, is that there's an actuator, sometimes called a sprocket, and it's what the timing chain or timing belt rides on. And this is where the oil is going from that variable valve timing solenoid. And sometimes these can't go bad. And if these do go bad, they could cause a P1009 code. So if you've gone through everything else, the next thing to go and check is going to be that actuator, sometimes called a sprocket. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a Honda with the P1009 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.